And I've brought my friend, our expert, Town Brookhaven, Ride and Run, Jason Tony. Take it from here, my friend. Yes, so so both of these brands, obviously, we're super excited that they're they're on board with us. Um, and they both have just skyrocketed over the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna start with Hoka. So Hoka is known for their higher stacked midsoles, um, super awesome rocker geometry to their shoes. But one of the most important things to take away is despite having more shoe to it, they stay relatively lightweight. So you're able to get something light underfoot with a ton of cushion. Hoka has been great for anyone who's combating an injury. We also see a lot of our, our friends who work all day and are on their feet all day gravitate toward Hoka and have a lot of success with mm. the brand. Um, next up would be On. So On is going to have a little bit of a European flair to it. So a little bit lower stack height, but you're going to have these cloud elements under the foot with a couple different types of cushioning material that's meant to be, again, nice and smooth under the foot. This one here, the Cloud Flow, is going to be a nice, fast shoe. But it's something that, again, like the Hoka, could be very comfortable all day and not get in your way. Um, there, but that being said, you know, having a lot of guests coming in looking for these brands, you can't go wrong either way. We love them both, and that's why we have them both. And again, talking about you know any sort of inventory shortages, we've got plenty of them. So if this is on your uh, loved one's holiday gift um, request, we've got them. So let's talk about that. We'll talk a little bit about inventory and here's what we can disclose to you. It truly has been since August that we have been to use the only term that maybe describes what we've been doing is stockpiling inventory for this time of year. We know this is a unique opportunity to bring more and more people into this active lifestyle. When you encourage someone over the holidays through conversation or you maybe present them with something they've been wanting for a long time, or they didn't know they needed it and they fall in love with it and now next year they're more active than they've ever been before because of what happened in December. So we have been putting inventory, setting it aside. We're gonna pay property taxes at a level we've never paid before because of all the inventory we've acquired that we know we won't sell by the end of the year so that we're ready to go, not just during the holidays, but as people make resolutions and get 2022 started. Hoka and on, two great examples of maybe where many places do not have inventory, we do.